Okay, so in this video I'm going to show you how to run Adventure Game Studio games natively on a Mac with a Mac build of the Adventure Game Studio engine. So the current version is 3.5.1 patch 7, you can see that here. And if you go to their releases page, the current development release is 3.6.0 alpha 16. And the current, I guess, latest release you just can see here, 3.5.14 patch 7. So they call it 3.5.1 patch 7. So that's what I'm calling it. Um, but if you look at what they actually provide, you can see that they've got Android versions, Windows versions, Linux versions, you know, the source code there, but no Mac OS or iOS builds. And that's probably because Apple are just um, a pain in the ass trying to control everything and making it very difficult for developers, I guess, to release things without going through, I guess, the Apple tax and um, doing all the code signing and everything, which you actually need a Mac to do as well. Um, so if a developer makes something on Windows or Linux, they can't just easily release it to Apple um, users to be nice to them. Um, you have to have a Mac to do all the, the code signing. So it makes it very difficult for people to be nice for Apple users and give them a copy of the application as well. But anyway, um, on my website I have built the latest stable version and the latest alpha pre-release version that you can download. Um, so I'm going to download the current stable version and I'm just going to bring it up in the finder and press command C to copy that. Okay, so now that I've I've got that um, you basically need to find a game so I'm going to go into Wilfred and I'm going to paste the game file in and basically I'm going to copy everything except winsetup.exe. I guess it doesn't matter if you put it in there, but command C to copy that. I'm going to click on the AGS app. Um, go right click, go show package contents, then go into the contents folder, then go into the resources folder and just paste all those files in. Then I'm going to find the exe file, highlight it, press enter to rename it or return, press control A to highlight everything and I'm just going to call it ac2game.dat and I'm going to use dot dat so I'm going to rename that okay so now what will happen is if we click on this app and I'm just going to rename it to game.app um, you could probably call it Wilfred or whatever but um, if you try to open this right click open it's basically telling you that it's damaged and it's not and it doesn't matter how many times you right click and go open it just doesn't let you open it and that's that's an Apple thing just being um, I guess restrictive to their users so to disable I guess the gatekeeper protection for this particular app what you want to do is highlight this first bit you don't need the slash path to app application dot app just Command C to copy that, and we want to bring up a terminal, and we just want to go CD, download, so press tab, and then Wilfred, press tab, and if you have a look there, you can see you've got the game.app file that I've made, so basically dot forward slash will be the path of the current directory that you're in, and then it's game, so press tab, and press enter, and basically this command has now disabled the protection for that file. So now if I double click the game.app or if I right click and click open on the app, you'll see that it loads up. And you can see that we've got the sound. And if we click start. Today is the semi-centennial of the heroic action performed by our school's namesake. So I'm just going to click through the intro. Oh no. Okay, Samantha. This is what your AI was programmed for. You got this. First. What's first? 
and so basically in this game you're the AI of the ship and everybody's unconscious and I'm not really sure uh, how to play it but you've got a toolbar down here and you can do different things. Um, An emergency spacesuit and helmet firmly attached to the wall. It's got voice acting and everything so it seems like it's a, a pretty good game. Um, but you know, obviously you don't see a character moving around on this one because you are actually the ship. So I'll exit out of that. Um, what I might do is copy this game.app and the funny boneyard. We'll do another game. So I'll paste that in there. Um, I'll copy the game files. Again, we want to right click, go show package contents and um, go into resources. We want to basically delete everything except the icon. I guess you could delete the icon if you wanted to. Paste in the new game. Um, and again, I'm going to call ac2game.dat. And I'm not sure whether... Like if we right click it and go open. Okay, cool. So I didn't have to do the disabling of the protection a second time for this particular file. Um, so I'm just going through. Here you got some music. And this doesn't have voice acting, this one. I'm just going to try and click through this a bit faster. And I guess here's like a more traditional old school thing with the different commands, walk around, do whatever. So again, um, you can see that the game is working natively on a Mac. Um, so again, I've got the latest stable, the latest pre-release at the time of this recording. I may not keep up to date with the latest latest versions but I'll try to periodically update it. There's the instructions for actually getting a disabling gatekeeper so you can actually run the app uh, and I'll probably record another video later on how to actually build it yourself um, but I know there's a lot of people that don't want to install a development environment just to compile one thing so here's the ones that I've done um, for you and you've got the video I guess showing you how to do it as well. Alright then um, Hope you find this useful and um, enjoy.